Here in Adama state of Nigeria, a new day is dawning. The sunrise brings with it every day a welcome breeze of fresh air. It is fresh air to hitherto the languid backwaters of Adama state where the greater majority of the population reside. For years, the rural areas have had a fundamental aspiration, access to the mainstream urban centers. Today, rural folks of Kuvagaya in Hong, local government area of Adama State, are in celebration. The road linking their community with Hong Town, their local government headquarters, is being commissioned. Governor of Adama State, Ahmed Umar of Intri, has brought his associate, the governor of Zamfara State, Dr. Muhammad Bello Matawali, to witness the historic occasion. The dream being actualized was once a nightmare for the fresh air governor, Ahmadu Morifintri. A nightmare of the sights and sounds of the suffering of Adama people as captured during the campaigns. I went around the 226 ward of the states to campaign. And I found the deplorable condition of the rural roads in the state some of them uh, in the 21st century are still not accessible. Uh, you can hardly move from one world to the other. And I felt there is need for us to bring at par, create this synergy, connect the rural areas with the urban areas so that we can stimulate the economy of the state. Uh, considering that Adama is an agrarian uh, state, May the 29th, 2019, the day of fresh air in Adama state of Nigeria. Ahmadu Morifintri gets sworn in as the governor of Adama state, having won the election held earlier, March the 9th. Ahmadu Morifintri immediately set up a most balanced cabinet that included all divides in the state, swearing in a cabinet of mostly young, highly educated, and equally motivated new breed. Herein lay a grand opportunity to bring about the desire of ages. Change for the better. Today, early in the second year of the tenure, remarkable dividends are glaring. Salaries of civil servants and local government workers sustainably being paid promptly, including the inherited backlog and fringe benefits. School feeding reintroduced. This has been sustained. Waheka Neko fees for students have been paid up to date. A development that has marked an unprecedented outcome in the current results of Waek and Neko. Critical sectors that the Fintry led administration heavily impacted upon are notably healthcare delivery. Education, as the governor even now receives a well deserved award for recognition of achievements of the Fintry tenure on education. 
Security of Lives and Property. A marked concern by Governor Ahmadu Umar of Hintry has brought about enhanced stability in the state. And of course, the breathtaking urban renewal of Yola and the local government headquarters. All told, the Fintry administration has made all-round commendable impact. This government is a serious government. This government is focused. We are determined and we are disciplined. And so, everything we are doing, we have to factor the time frame, we have to factor the financial implication, we have to factor everything that is required to push these jobs to completion before we initiate it. Kuvagaya, in Hong, local government area of Adamawa State, celebrates today. The celebration could be anywhere in Adamawa State, where, in every one of the 21 local governments of the state, a cumulative total of 347.6 kilometers of access roads now link virtually every community to their local government headquarter. I decided uh, to pull the bull by the horn to ensure that I build uh, a durable and an accessible road to all the rural communities in the state, uh, which by extension is connecting all the political wards uh, and that is actually where the agricultural activities are taking place. So that informed our decision to build the about 200, 350 uh, kilometers of roads. Uh, that is in the first phase. So, in our baraka. I'm happy to join you today in what will go down in history as one of the greatest commitments to the implementation of our 11-point agenda for our rural communities that have enormous resources, which if tapped can translate into the economic growth and development of Adamawa State. Before now, it was difficult to transport goods and services in most of our rural communities. But we are changing the ugly narratives. Let me therefore happily welcome His Excellency Governor Mohammed Bello Mutawali, my brother and colleague, who has graciously accepted to come to Hong local government and Kuba Gaya in particular to flag up the commissioning of 347.6 kilometer rural access roads and river crossing spread across the 21 local government area of Adamawa State. Most sincerely commend His Excellency for executing this project of a great significance to the life of the Benedictine communities and the entire people of Adamawa State. This has shown the zeal and commitment of Governor Arne Pintri to take Adamawa State to higher development pedestal despite lean resources coupled with the challenges forced by the COVID-19 pandemic. I call on the Benefitium community to make good use of this project for the advancement of their socio-economic lives. As we know, provision of access road, river crossing, and other critical infrastructures contribute immensely in fast-tracking development. With the road infrastructures, the cost of green businesses will reduce and the new vistas of economy opportunity will be open to the teeming population of Adamawa State. The second Rural Access and Mobility Project, Ramp 2, is a rural intervention project that emerged from Rural Travel and Transport Policy, RTTP, designed to facilitate sustainable development in the rural areas. The Adamawa State Government, under the leadership of Governor Amadou Morifintri, is partnering with the World Bank and the French Development Agency. The project development objective is to improve transport conditions and bring sustained access to the rural population through rehabilitating and maintaining key rural transport infrastructure in a sustainable manner. The state coordinator of Ramp 2, Engineer Zubair Mohammed speaks on the quality and specification of the road, 
which could not have been realized without the payment of counterpart funding by Governor Amadou Morofin. Ram, in collaboration with uh, the national office and the state uh, government, we uh, commissioned a consultant to design specification and maintenance of rural roads. What is that rural road? These rural roads, these are smaller communities. There is no need for you to give them a bogus road that will not be maintained. And that is why, if you look at rural roads, the width of the rural road is six meters. With the, carry, with, the, with the shoulders, it's eight meters. Well, the Federal Highway Court is 12 meters. The quality of the hydraulic structures, the pavement is all the same with that of uh, the Federal Highway. So it uh, meets the standards all over the, these are standards all over the world for rural roads. Governor Amadou Morifintri of Adamawa State has completed the construction rehabilitation of 347.6 kilometers of roads. The development partners are satisfied. In Adamawa State, the global best practices were followed with tremendous support and commitment to the project. Among the states that participated in Ram 2 project in Nigeria, Adamawa has been a job to be the best by the World Bank. This commissioning ceremony is the first of its, of its kind under the Ram 2 project in Nigeria. His Excellency Amadou Mofintri, before he becomes a governor, he has gone all over the local government headquarters and probably the world's headquarters. He has seen himself the problems of the roots leading to all various local governments. Thereby, he made a promise that whenever God gave him the chance to become the governor of Adama State, number one, is going to make those roads more terrible so that the people that will ease their problem of transportation to the, the local government headquarters and the state headquarters. That is the promise that he made and he has fulfilled them. And thank God, the rural people are enjoying the roads of the fresh air governor. With the coming of this type of development now, a lot of rural communities, rural dwellers, can access even the urban areas. And uh, the, road con the road construction of 347.6 kilometers have completed now across the 21 local governments of Adama State. And His Excellency have, you know, uh, commissioned those uh, projects. Therefore, as far as we are concerned, we are seeing it. Even the volume of traffic that you are seeing now has increased. Now we are along Yadim, Yolde Party, that is Yola South, Yadim Axis, which is about 28 kilometers. Before you get to Yadim, now in less than 20 something minutes, you get to that very particular community, which is a development area in the state. Governor Amadou Morofintri remains passionate about the yearnings of the rural population. Within his short period in office, the executive governor has indeed touched many lives positively through the construction of rural roads in the state. The only place you have large expanse of land for agricultural development is in the rural areas, which means if we are to open access for both agri and the market, and also ensuring human capacity development, then we can't achieve that without opening the rural areas. This is what informed the uh, attention given by the administration of Right Honorable Amadou Morofintiri to rural access. Already, we are witnesses to the tremendous impact. This is the Yola Vegetable Market, Rural access roads have enabled rural folks to cut off the middleman and convey their fresh produce to the market. Prices are significantly affected. The early birds to the market beat the inflation.
da muna fitar da shi yanzu idan muka zo kaman dun komi daya kaman komi 30 iya daukan muka ma awa hudu yanzu gwamnati ta hanya ta taimaka muna kaman yanzu ka ba mu wuce mu samu awa biyu today is market day in labondo it never used to be this way but for the road borong headquarters of mbola chiefdom which used to be far flung is now a short drive away with this access road, all communities of the north bank of the Benue River are having a field day. There has tremendous acceleration across uh, uh, economic growth because of the opening of this road. Um, our people transact business easily uh, to the capital. Hitherto, it takes about two and a half hours from Yola to Oro, where it's one hour. So, there's boom of economic activities and uh, this has gone a long way in changing the economic, political and social landscape of our chiefdom. Ramtu sunya aiki bel haki da gaskiya duk inda yake da muni da inda kamata a kwal inda kamata a hafgada duan yi. A yanzu muna cikin walwala ba mu da bambanci da mutanen Yola da na Jimeta. Yola bando an waye gadi ta zama anguwa a Jimeta da Yola kana tashi da ganan ka bude shagon ka a jimeta a cikin kasuwa da safi karfe 8 karfe 4 ko karfe 5 karfe ka zo laban ka kwana with a total of 66 river crossings along the 347.6 kilometers of roads the residents of Boshikiri Kola Shelling Bakta Bari of Numan Bi Road as well as Danamayo Belwa Polwa and Dikong Tongo Kiri and Hong Mijilu Kuvagaya Road. Governor Fintry is poised at ensuring his campaign promises in this regard are all fulfilled. The river crossings along rivers Kemye, Shima, Mbulirga, Urohausa, Kuvagaya, Kualita, Ndiamdadi, Dilwachara, Sambajangani, and Dukul have served to make the age long hardship now history. Governance is all about development, and this is what the fresh air governor made a commitment to during the era of the campaigns. I feel at the moment it has opened up the economy of the state, and uh, it has uh, really brought hope uh, to the people at the rural areas, as we are also building and renewing uh, the urban areas, so that, uh, like I said initially, We'll bring it at par and uh, connect them together so that it can serve the purpose of our people. Deputy Governor Chief Crowther Set says, with the feat so far achieved, there are indications that Governor Fintry is working towards actualizing his 11 points agenda. Just two years and see what His Excellency Amad Fintry has done to the rural roots. Because he has the interest of the poor people. And he is a grassroots politician from whom. That is why all his promises, he wants to complete them. This 11-point uh, agenda in Al-Aida will be achieved. And as you know, Munchan Zatsari, before it was the top-bottom approach, now we're going right to the grassroots. We're carrying out a needs assessment. Guys, what is your problem? What do you need? And we're ready to deliver to them whatever it is they need to make them have a meaningful life. We will continue to invest in state capital roads as well as local government roads until we arrive at this nexus. This particular administration has its own master plan in terms of infrastructural development. Governor Ahmed Umar of Intri has carved out his name in gold and has earned the respect of development partners and donor agencies specifically in this case, the World Bank and the French Development Agency. These rural roads will no doubt play a significant role in restoring and renewing even fresh hope for the betterment of the rural populace. For the greater population of Adamawa State, those that reside in the rural areas, the change agent Amadou Morifintri has brought about accessibility for the exploitation of all available potential. We have been suffering 
and nobody will come out into our aid to help us. But now, as this government of uh, Adamawa State go Governor Amadou Gumaru Fintiri has come uh, to this power, in fact, actually, he has considered us, we the resident or people of Bakta. So for this road, actually, we are very grateful. When it is a uh, rainy season, we used to pass through these stones, rocks. I remember one time I fell down somewhere around there. And uh, last week, as I passed this place, this place was very fine. I said, ah, thank God, even if they didn't do the quota, at least this one is okay now. At least we can do, uh, move on as we want, or with our speed as we want. The road is now good. Almost every government that came, will promise to do something about it. Today marks the opening up of this land, and I'm assuring you that by the grace of God, it will never be shut up again. It is so significant that nobody that is of my age will forget this day. We don't have a, a good health facility here. We have to go to either Uber, Mubi, or Hong. And uh, during rainy season, we have lost a lot of lives because of bad road until the coming of this government, ad ramp came to our rescue, and we are lucky that the road is now very good. Governor Fintry has answered his name, a breath of fresh air.